Hello everybody, welcome to the I Am IT Geek YouTube channel. My name is Shabazz Dan, as ever, I am the IT Geek. Welcome back to another Nerdy Wednesday. Um, that's what I've dubbed it myself. Just, <laughs> just every Wednesday I, I, I release a, a video on Nerdy content around, you know, the Nerdy Manager for Enterprise. Uh, just something new, I want to try something different. I was getting a bit bored by just doing uh, Azure content and AVD content. I want you to just put, put something new into my sort of weekly schedule. So obviously I release YouTube videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays normally. And I just wanted to fill the gap a little bit because, you know, the, the, the Azure sort of content is great and I'm getting lots of support on that. But I just wanted to mix it up a little bit. I try and do that with my YouTube channel. You probably notice, you know, I sometimes do the book book reviews and other things in between. So for now it's Nerdio. There's loads of Nerdio content I'm going to be creating. But it'll be every Wednesday that it's released or so once a week really. Um, in the last video, you might remember that we actually went into the uh, Nerdio Manager. And uh, so we're, we're working through the knowledge base, right? We're, we're focusing on desktop images. The last one we actually created went to desktop image uh, images and we created this new image. Um, and we had some issues with it. We worked through those issues and then we were able to capture that image. What I wanted to do today is actually, so this is currently powered off, right? Um, we're not going to do any, any sort of um, image management yet. Um, however, I'm um, just going to, wanted to go through the running a script. You can actually align uh, and, and, and integrate with scripted actions. So on, on so this is a powered off image, it's stopped by the way. You go on the, on the image and you just go to run scripts. And here's where we can actually run a script on that image if we wanted. So <clears throat> there's different things we could run. Uh, what I'll do is I'm going to add a data disk to it. Um, but we'll, we'll do that and I'll run that. But I just want to show you can assign a public IP if we wanted. We can assign list of users to personal desktops. If obviously this is a you know at the moment we've not we've not created that. In the next video, I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to do that, creating the the uh, host pool from the image. Uh, we can change OS disk type uh, of stop VMs if we wanted. That's currently in preview. So the couple of scripted actions that are in preview here. As we go along, down we can see we can delay host availability in AVD for ten minutes if we wanted. Uh, delete all the FX, FS Logix profiles, delete detect stale. So this is, for when you talk about management of the image, this is great, some of these, you know, because over time the image does get quite convoluted, especially if you're, you, you know, regularly updating it. And um, you can enable anti-malware extension, um, enable hibernation on VMs. Um, what I want to do is, again, you know, there's all sorts, have, have a look for yourself. I'm just going to add a data disk. I'm going to I'm going to run the scripted action on the desktop image to add a data disk. Um, and again, we've got two other options here. We do we want to pass AD credentials? If we have a look, what does this mean? Pass AD credentials specified on settings integrations after we actually pay to the script being executed, uh, or we can restart uh, VM after scripted execution. So here, it's saying if, if if check the VM will be restarted after scripted execution, please check this box if using any. Uh, if, if to using any restarting PowerShell commands, but well, we're not doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to run that now. Um, oh, let me cancel that. Let's click on yeah. Let's click on run now. Okay, so that is now I'm going to run. And what we'll do is so we can see it's pending there. Let that run, and then we'll go back once it's completed. I'll go into the task and we'll see what it's done. Um, and then we can we can we can take a look. I'll actually go into Azure and I'll show the additional disk there. Um, so we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back. So the scripted action is complete. Let's look at the details here. So again, it sets the API context. It checks the VM state. So the VM is not running. It gets the VM image, gets associated image versions. There's only one at the moment, right? It gets the AD config. So the actually ID was not specified, which, is, which I didn't specify. We saw that. It gets the AD config, which I just said. Sorry, it gets the scripted action. It starts the VM. It prepares that script and it gets the account. Uh, it's going to run that scripted action with automation, completes that, um, and then it waits for the completion, runs that, and it stops the VM again, which is all fully automated, didn't have to lift a finger. And as we can see, uh, if I just quickly go into the Azure portal, we'll see that VM is, it should still be in a stop state, um, but it should have another disk uh, so there's that VM. If I go to uh, settings and disks, technically there should be in there. It is another data disk. So that wasn't that. Obviously, I already did it with an OS disk originally. That is the data disk there. So the scripted action worked. Okay, that's the proof where it works. And my VM is still, uh, if we go back here, sorry, it's still in a stopped and deallocated position. So great automation 
you know, they want you to know about, I don't have a disc, disc. I didn't have to go through the rigmarole of, um, you know, going into Azure, powering it on, waiting for it to come on, uh, adding the disc, you know, doing the right size of this, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. Simply went in there, ran a scripted action, boom, my disk is done. So just some of the great automation with desktop imaging you can do in there, Dio. Um, so we are going to continue with the image stuff. And so that's today's uh, Nerdio Wednesday video done. So we've got all these articles. I kind of want to work through them. Uh, we did the scripted action. Um, I actually want to do some backup and restore stuff in and some cloning stuff. as well. There's a lot of stuff I want to kind of go through. There's loads of stuff with desktop imaging. And we are as well going to, at some point, um, create... A, a, a host pool from that image as well. Um, but again, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying these Nerdio Wednesdays. Drop me a comment um, with any other sort of Nerdio videos you might want to see in the future. Uh, I'm going to do a bit of a, a podcast as well coming up where I'm going to have a, a special guest. I'm not going to ruin who, but he's very, you know, he's really good in the Nerdio community. Um, he's forgotten more than what I know about Nerdio. That's, you know, that's how this is, you know, he lives and breathes it. Um, so I'll, I'll give more away in a future video, but I'll be doing a podcast with him. We'll be talking all things Nerdio, obviously, in AVD. Uh, I've got loads of other content on my channel as well. Don't forget, you know, I've got um, obviously a lot of Azure content, a lot of AVD content. I'll do a lot of exam content, Microsoft exam certification content. So the link to join as a member, because it's all member content, is is below as well in the description. Get join as a member. You know, they've got level one, level two, level three, loads of other perks as well that you can have. Um, and like I said, um, all my exam content is there. Like I've got um, a fundamental AZ900, MS900. I've got SC, you know, the SC Security 300, SC200, I believe. I've got SC100 for the enterprise level sort of stuff. I've got AVD exam, AZ140, you know, 700. Loads of really good exam content. Loads more coming on in the future. So uh, make sure you subscribe and make sure you join as a member. But that's it for today's Nerdio Wednesday. Thank you for, for joining me. And until next time, goodbye.